silver last week has shown a very strong breakout from $24 levels and in fact has gone close to $22 levels. Yes, after forming the bottom here, it is still trading very much within the channel and now the bottom of the channel next week is situated at around 2150 levels. So now what to expect next week? Can we expect it to hit bottom and bounce back? Or is it going to reverse from here? Which position you should take trading silver next week? We will see with the help of charts followed with indicators. Towards the end, I will give you the summary, conclusion and the trading levels and the strategy to watch out for. Do watch till the end. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis for silver. First with the Asia session, next with the US session. Do watch both. Also, you can remain updated by joining our free telegram channel. The link is mentioned in the channel and video description. Let's start. First on the weekly charts, we have seen silver forming the bottom. After forming the bottom here at $18 levels, you have seen this rise, then this retracement. This is the second rise and then the retracement here. This is the second wave here. Possibility for it to get the support from these levels is very very strong. 2150 and 21. Now see this was the previous support levels at $21 levels. And if you look at the complete formation, you will find that 18 to 24 almost $6 of move. Then from 24 to 24 dollars of retracement, then 20 to 26 6 dollars of move, and now 26 to 22 4 dollars of retracement, almost giving you equal opportunity with an equal distance as of now. So definitely, once silver stays below 22, you can still expect it to drop more till towards 21.5 or in fact 21 dollar levels here. However, remember it has given a very strong breakout, so either it has to consolidate a bit or uh, we may see a retracement possibly because see things are going oversold now. We will see with the help of indicators. Also, one more point before we go to the uh, weekly daily charts here, you can see silver so far was trading in this bullish channel. It has given or uh, it has formed a flag and had given a breakout. Now it is trying to retrace further. However, I still treat this as a breakout. Second point is I still treat this is in a bullish channel. So I will wait for the breakout on the downside. Any move below 2000 is, or 20 dollars is what will confirm that it is willing to give a breakout on the downside. So I will wait a little for this to confirm. Till that time I will still remain bullish. Now coming to the daily charts. On the daily charts we had seen earlier see this was the top. This is at the bottom. It was trading in this expandingly uh, bearish channel. You can see this is increasingly bearish channel. And after forming the top, the drop there, the consolidation, then the retracement to the top of the channel. And now again looking downwards. Now if you look at the bottom of the channel. First thing on the daily charts. Now if you look at the bullish channel, the support is going to be seen here at 21, 40, 50 levels. And then if it draws below, we may see... $20 levels also very very good support because this is trading in this increasingly bearish channel I will wait for this zone how it behaves because see 22 is and 2180 is a very very good support here and only below which further bearishness can be confirmed can be expected now look at the formation of last week few weeks drop sideways movement retracement higher highs here and then drop there now it has formed lower lows and it is trying to recover or retrace also, if you look at the last candle, it was trading outside Bollinger Bands. I will come to the indicators later. But if you look at the complete formation, lower highs, lower lows. And that too, this is happening after a sharp, sharp drop. Also, last week, this was the breakout here where it has taken away 2340 levels, which was the stronger support and has dropped sharply since. Now, remember one fact that if you see it trading about 2280 next week, that is the point beyond which we may see 2320, 2350. And in fact, 2380 levels till 24. We should not treat this as a complete reversal. Only and only if you see silver trading above 24 any point of time, you should say that this is a reversal and we are going to see a complete rise from there. Hence, that is the first point. Second is below 22. We have to remain watchful. Remember, 22 and 2180 very very good support. And if it draws below, then further bearishness for 2140, 21 dollar levels can be seen there. Now coming to the monthly. On the monthly charts, as we saw, the pole, the flag, the breakout, and now it is trying to retrace. Also on the monthly charts, if you connect the dots here, this is almost very near to the bottom on the monthly charts. Now if you look at the previous candle, see flat top was there, and since then we have seen first red candle, and this is the second red candle. Yes, it has still got downward move. However, one must note, couple of observations, couple of points to make here is, see very near to the bottom of this bullish channel. 
second is lower lows are done on the monthly charts and uh, till 22 it has got 22 and 21 80 very very good support yes it can also bounce back from here there is a possibility because see rise retracement rise retracement so i will definitely be watchful of 22 dollars and 21 80 levels on the downside only below which further bearishness is going to be seen it can accelerate the bearishness and can come close to till towards the zone that is towards the end of the month now coming to the indicators indicators on the monthly charts it is getting the support from the 20 period exponential moving average which is situated at around 22 dollar levels and it has got 20 to 20 levels and it has got very very good support here trading precisely from at the median of the bollinger bands right now it is still not to be treated as bearish also if you look at the support on the downside you will find the 20 and 50 period moving average situated at around 21 50 to 21 80 zone very very good resistance zone exist here if you look at the monthly stochastic, this was overbought earlier, it has retraced a bit on the downside. The MACD which has crossed over after months is now trading again willing to converge. Remember, this is happening at a lower level and after almost couple of years after showing a good swing, it has started to take shape for the second wave here. But right now it is willing to convert though yes, yet not crossed over and hence I will wait for the crossover. If it crosses over here, we can see that the bears might prevail here RSI looking downwards trying to trade bearish and on the weekly likewise on the weekly charts prices are divergent from the moving averages now after weeks it is almost breached below the 20 1500 weeks average also now this is also a slight bearish sign that you can see the moving averages started to converge which indicates a near term bearish behavior of the instrument now if you look at a stock ASIC which has dropped to oversold levels, now it is trading comfortable almost flat. But look at MACD, this is trading with extreme divergence and bearishness looking downwards. However, it is still not at the overbought zone. You can see it is just retracing from plus 100 levels. However, see from minus 100 to plus 100, second wave here and it is starting to begin its downward journey. Hence, we have to be very watchful here until unless it converges, crosses over and looks forward to a rise. As of now, it is giving a bearish indication. Charts. <coughs> On the daily chart, see the moving averages have crossed over. Trading with divergence, see the 20 and 50 already crossed over here. The 20 and 100 has already crossed over here. And it is a bearish sign. I will wait for the 20 or uh, 50 and 100 crossover also. Right now, it is still giving a chance for it to retrace. Also, remember one fact. Now, the prices are divergent from the moving averages on the daily charts and hence first point is the moving averages have to come down second point is also it was trading outside Bollinger Bands and hence towards the last trading session I told you that there is a possibility of a pullback precisely the pullback is seen however it is still close to the bottom of the Bollinger Bands hence about 22 50 60 uh, levels till 20 to 80 you can possibly expect a little retracement and in fact we may see moving averages coming down and the price is going up till towards 23 40 50 levels there is a possibility for it where we may see it getting the resistance stock stochastic has come to oversold levels the macd on the daily charts is still divergent and bearish it is willing to converge here this is almost see after this drop this is the first wave it is starting the second wave here RSI is also dropped and hit a bottom. Now, now we have seen the charts, you have seen the indicators. Time for me to define the trading levels and strategies so that you can trade profitably. And before we proceed, if you want to learn this art of trading profitably, you should join my mentorship batch. 23rd batch starts on 3rd of July. Register yourself now itself. 15 working days, 90 minutes live webinar is what you get and a lot of experience and tools and strategy we have, which we have created with the years of experience will be provided to you. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Also, you can be part of my signals group where trading as per the signals you can benefit. Reach out again on the same ID for more details. Now, first I will write the major milestone here. 2280, if it breaks, further bullishness is going to be expected. But this is still a retracement ex expectation, not a complete reversal. Now, till 2280, you can buy here at 2250, but just put a 10 cents trailing stop loss now with 10 cents trailing stop loss you can expect 2260 is also very good resistance 2270 2280 till 2280 very very good resistance beyond that 23 2320 and then 
23 50 levels three resistances very very near and if it stays about 23 50 that is the time beyond which we can expect that we are going to look at 24 dollar levels also now 24 is the maximum maximum resistance zone beyond that this is to be treated as reversal and we are going to look at 25 and plus plus levels above 24 is what i will look forward to if it trades above then you can say that there could be a little reversal on the upside on the downside where to sell now you can sell here at 2240 levels but then expect i will rather say 2220 levels and then expect 22 as the maximum support and staying below 22 we can still expect 2173 and 2150 as the maximum maximum support level below 2150 is what you can expect little more bearishness taking it directly to 21 dollar levels though i see that this is where if it continues to drop this is where we can see the maximum resistance on the second occasion that is between 21 and 2150 levels the chances are less that it is going to drop till towards those levels the, but these are markets beyond you and me and it can continue with the journey if it stays below 22 levels certainly more bearishness is going to be seen there and hence take your trades accordingly trade with the stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss and definitely the refined levels on the daily charts will be you can uh, expect that you can observe that on my daily analysis where we get to get know the final nitty gritties on the day to day basis so join my mentorship badge join my signals channel do not forget to like share subscribe and comment have a great profitable trading week ahead thank you